Hi, I'm going to show you a technique called micro hydroponics. It's a way of growing miniature vegetables without soil in a milk carton like this. Here I'm showing a finished product, which is a lettuce that's growing in a milk carton. And you can accomplish this too. I developed micro hydroponics, especially for the homeowner who wants to grow vegetables either in their backyard or indoors. It's also for students who are in apartments or dormitories that can do the same thing. School children have used this technique to learn about plants and science. So as young as first graders at Noilani Elementary School have been using this technique. These are the main items that you will need to do microhydroponics. A half a gallon milk carton preferably with one that has a cap on it so you can add nutrient solution later on. These are called oasis cubes. They're like a floral foam which is used to start the seedlings, to germinate them, and to grow the seedlings in them initially. These are hydroponic fertilizers that will be mixed with water and you use these to fertilize your plants. You will need what are called net pots that will support the oasis cube and the seedlings in it. And finally, some kind of container like a tray that will be used to hold the oasis cubes and you'll grow your seedlings in here. The cover that goes with it that will keep the environment humid so the seeds and the oasis cubes don't dry out. This is how to get started. Again, the supplies, a milk carton, a ruler, the compass, a knife, and a net pot. What you need to do with the ruler is to adjust the size of the compass opening. Since the net pot is two inches in diameter, you need to adjust it to about an inch. So you have it an inch here. You put it in the middle of the milk carton, and then you draw a circle like this. Okay. With a knife blade, you would then cut the hole out in the milk carton so then it looks like this. This hole serves to support the net pot. So it is slightly smaller than two inches in diameter because this is a two inch net pot. When you're finished with the hole you can see the net pot fits very nicely in there without falling down inside the carton. To get started with seed germination you need a tray that you place the oasis cubes in them you add tap water to the oasis cube to soak, pouring off any excess water. Okay? You, if you have a lot of seeds, like in a lettuce seed packet, you can drop two seeds in every hole. If you have packets that have very little seeds, like sometimes tomatoes and chili peppers, you would just put one seed in each hole. Making sure there's water in here to keep the oasis cube moist, that will moisten the seeds, you will then cover your tray that has ventilating holes on the side. You can keep this in the dark, on a tabletop, under some lights, and it should germinate within a few days depending upon your crop, like lettuce grows very fast in a few days, or some that take longer to germinate, like tomatoes and chili peppers. When do you transplant these into the net pots? You can transplant them when they have about four leaves on them. Even when they get as big as this, they're okay in size, yeah, to put in the net pot. Something like this, the crop is maturing already, that it's getting kind of late to put inside your net pot. To mix your hydroponic nutrient solution, you will need the hydroponic fertilizers, a plastic container, at least a gallon, measuring spoons, and some kind of jar or cup or container to pour the nutrient solution into your milk carton. These are special hydroponic fertilizers. They're from Colorado. They're a complete fertilizer here in the green one and additional magnesium sulfate in this white one. So what you would do is, in this particular fertilizer, you would measure one teaspoon of the green fertilizer into the gallon container and then one fourth teaspoon of magnesium sulfate fertilizer into the plastic container, you would add a gallon of tap water 
Okay. Cover it and then mix it and it's ready to go. To get the nutrient solution inside the, the milk carton, you would need some kind of jar or cup or uh, a, a container like this which has a spores a pour spout. You would pour inside the container and then pour it inside. Filling this up to about halfway full. You get the oasis cu uh, cube with the seeding and you place it inside of the net pot. So you push it down in the net pot, making sure the oasis cube is all the way down at the bottom of the net pot. You place it in here. It's already filled with about halfway of the nutrient solution. Why you need a cap like this is it allows you to look like this and make sure that the nutrient solution in here is touching the bottom of the net pot and thus the bottom of the oasis cube because you want to make sure that the oasis cube doesn't dry out because that's where your seedling is growing. Also with long-term crops, like I've grown tomatoes in a milk carton like this for seven months and for that long a period you need to add the nutrient solution into the milk carton at least two or three times a week. It looks easy like you could just add it here but once the tomato plant gets big and big, like about like this, at 12 inches, you cannot add the nutrient solution through the net pot anymore by just pouring it like this. So you need a milk carton with a spout. You put a funnel in here and then you add the nutrient solution. But as time goes on, you do not have to add enough nutrient solution to have it touch the oasis cube. You can keep it then, once it starts growing, you can keep it at about one-fourth level in here. The reason being, the roots will grow down through the oasis cube into the nutrient solution. This system is great because you don't have to uh, provide air bubbles in here with a pump. When the nutrient solution goes down to about a fourth and you keep it there, then all the air space above the nutrient solution will have roots that will be able to take the oxygen out of the air and the roots that go into the nutrient solutions will take up the water and the nutrients. So once it starts going like this and then the nutrient solution goes down, you can keep it about one-fourth level with, by adding nutrient solution and that will provide a nice balance between an air space for the roots to absorb oxygen and the nutrient solution for them to absorb water and the nutrients. In closing, I developed microhydroponics because it addresses the issues of importance to people of food safety and urban agriculture. Food safety because you can grow the vegetables yourself, you know where you got the seeds, the fertilizer, the water, you are in total control of the growing. It's very easy, it's almost like set it and forget it. And urban agriculture where there is interest in growing vegetables, in the city, in homes, apartments, dormitories, rather than having to depend upon vegetables that are grown out in the country. Here, you have them growing right here in your home. You don't have to worry about pesticide applications. You don't have to worry about transportation costs to bring these vegetables from the country into supermarkets near your home. Where you can get information, I have a website called Micro hydroponics where you can look at it and get any information and contact me.